Good morning, Saugus. I'm Nolan Hodge, and today is Monday, March 27th. And I'm Kenzie Mustafa. This is SNN. Let's start off today's show by going to Mrs. Peterson Henry and Mr. Roundsville with a message on resources available for Saugus students. Good morning, Saugus. This is Mr. Roundsville. Just wanted to remind you, um, as we ended our week in a not ideal way, um, we just wanted to remind you that there are supports on campus for you that if on this wonky Monday you're not feeling it and you need some support, so you need somebody to talk to, just know the Serenity Space is available, I'm available, and we also have some extra support from the Department of Mental Health, and there are actually therapy dogs around just the same. So we want to remind you that we have many supports for you today if you need it as we go into this last week going into spring break. Yeah, that's right, Mr. R. And those supports are here for staff too. So staff, if you're needing a little pick me up or you need to talk to someone, just email the admin over your department or text them or call the front desk. Also, I want to thank everybody, staff and students for doing such a great job on Friday. It was absolutely a difficult day, but everyone really rose to the occasion. And unfortunately, these things do happen. The good news is that everyone was safe. We all went home Friday. I'm hoping that you had a really good weekend and we got to push through this last week. I want you to make sure that you're trying in your classes and um, we're getting really close to the end of the year. So let's put some focus into your studies. But at the same time, if you need some help, you also got an email saying about the Serenity Space. Also, for seniors, period one, we'll do a special group for you in the Serenity Space if you need that. I'm also gonna ask, I know a lot of our 10th graders aren't on campus today because at their at, they're at the Museum of Tolerance, but I'm gonna ask for all of our 9th and 11th and 10th graders that are here to remember to be a little bit extra sensitive. Friday was difficult for everybody, but our seniors and our staff members that were here at the shooting, it's gonna, things are a little bit harder, like loud noises, people screaming, even if it's just in fun, and also making, um, popping your milk cartons and things like that. So let's make sure we're showing an extra level of sensitivity so we can all focus on our academics. That is why we are here. We'll push through this last week. Also, just as a Monday pick-me-up, if you have the Monday blahs, I don't know about you, but I sure did this morning. But in order to do that, to help you focus, please come out at brunch. We're gonna come up to, if you come up to the uh, st outdoor stage, we'll have some sweet treats, a little extra candy for you. If you tell us two things that make you happy. Mr. R, I'm putting you on the spot. What are two things that make you happy? Two things that make me happy are smiling students and when people say what's up Mr. R that makes me happy <laughs> I agree with that I like smiling students what makes me happy is when I go in classrooms I see students working hard and teachers teaching diligently so let's have a good Monday everybody happy Monday guys thanks Mrs. Peterson Henry and Mr. Ronsville to celebrate Women's History Month, we thought we'd tell you about Michelle Obama. Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama was born on January 17, 1964, in Chicago, Illinois. She graduated from Princeton and Harvard, majoring in law, and worked at the Sidley Law Firm, where she met her husband, Barack Obama. Early in her career, she worked in nonprofits as the Associate Dean of Student Services at the University of Chicago, as well as the Vice President for Community and External Affairs of the, Chicago, of the University of Chicago Medical Center. In 2008, she was delivered a keynote address at the Democratic National Convention, her first of four consecutive conventions. The same year, following Barack Obama's win of the presidential election, she became the first black first lady. As first lady, Obama served as an inspiration for women, advocating for poverty, poverty awareness and education, as well as creating the program Let's Move to promote nutrition and physical activity. Her incredible advancements for women of color and political stances made her a figure of achievement and a role model for women everywhere. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. 
Seniors, SNN needs your photos for our annual senior slideshow. You can submit photos and videos from your childhood through high school, whether it be sports, class life, extracurricular activities, or vacations. Be sure to submit any memories that you'd like to look back on when reflecting on your time at Saugus. Submit your photos to us on our Instagram page over a direct message. Email us at the link list below or using the QR codes posted around campus. Speaking of seniors, SNN wants to broadcast your four-year college, trade school, or military acceptances. Once you have all your acceptance letters, send proof of your documents as well as the school you've committed to. Ms. Hasek at the email listed below or bring them into the counseling office at the time of counseling. The deadline to submit these acceptances is April 28th. If you still need to apply for colleges for the fall semester, Cal States are accepting applications. Chico Bay, or Chico, East Bay, Humboldt, Maritime, San Francisco, Stanislaus, and Sonoma are all open. They have varying deadlines as early as this Saturday. You can apply to all schools through CSU Apply, and they all require the late application form, except Sonoma. For more information, check the Counseling Senior Google Classroom site. Now let's go to Lucas Frankie with this week's ASB Minute. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Lucas Frankie with this week's ASB Minute. Starting this Wednesday, election voting for next school year's executive board will be open. To vote, visit the website saugus.votingforschools.com. Once on the website, log in with your student ID number and your birth date. Please take a moment to vote for next school year's ASB executive officers. Only freshmen, sophomores, and juniors can vote. Voting closes this Friday at 1. Prom tickets go on sale today. That's all for me. Now let's go to Ryan Harris with today's Saugus Sports Update. Thanks, Lucas. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Ryan Harris with today's Saugus Sports Update. Tomorrow, boys tennis plays West Ranch, JV plays at Saugus, and varsity plays at West Ranch. Both games start at 3.30. Softball plays Canyon, JV plays at Canyon, and varsity plays at Saugus. Both teams play at 3.15. Also tomorrow, boys golf plays in league match two at the Oaks at 12. Girls lacrosse plays West Ranch at Saugus at three. Good luck to all of our Centurion athletes. Games may be subject to change due to the weather. That's all for me. Because of technical difficulties on Friday, our sports and stress management clip did not run its entirety. Here it is once again. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Kaysen Markoff, reporting for SNN. Have you ever felt stressed out over school? If you have, it's completely normal. Many students feel stressed in school. Chances are, you're probably worrying about that next test in English or math. However, you're also worrying about pleasing your parents and applying to colleges. There are many ways to deal with this stress, specifically staying in shape by participating in one of the many sports programs we have here at Saugus. Here's Coach Parbosa to give you some tips on how to alleviate stress. So really, I think it comes down to what sounds good to them, like what's left in the tank. Um, sometimes it's as simple, maybe going for a walk, um, revisiting some stretches that help alleviate some like aches and pains that they have. Um, but ultimately, if they're kind of stressed out, um, what is it that makes them happy? Um, I find that kind of in exercise and fitness that that's the thing that people need to find out is nothing's gonna work for you unless it's something you like. Um, so I could recommend a specific uh, stretch or I could say, hey, go for like a jog at this tempo. Um, but you gotta find what's good for you. So for some people that could be stretching, it could be a walk, it could be a hike. I know for me personally, um, I'm a bad surfer, but I like to just sit on my board and just kind of like bob. Um, so I, I don't think you have like one right answer. And I would just encourage kids to try different things, grab a buddy, um, you know, and see what works for them. If you don't already play a sport, there are summer programs you can take to learn and get better at the sport and also help with your stress to start off the school year right. This has been Kaysen Markoff reporting for SNN.
Remember to incorporate exercise in your day to help manage stress, August. Congratulations to Academic Decathlon on winning 26 individual awards this weekend in the California State Virtual Competition. Caillou Garcia won silver in art, and Zoe Tejeda won gold. In economics, Caillou Garcia won bronze, and Audrey Whitman and Camille Wiener won silver. Zoe Tejeda and Mally, Maddie Hollingshead placed bronze in literature, and Caillou Garcia placed gold. In math, Audrey Whitman and Camille Wiener placed silver, and Caillou Garcia placed gold. Caillou also placed bronze in music, Zoe Tejeda placed silver, and Audrey Whitman placed gold. In science, AC Dister won bronze, Camille Wiener and Audrey Dister won silver, and Caillou won gold. He also won gold in social science. Valeria Funes and Camille Wiener placed bronze in essay, Jennifer Wang placed silver, and Caillou Garcia and Audrey Whitman placed gold. Caillou and Ard Audrey also placed gold overall. The team scored silver. Congrats again. Administration would like to remind you that in order to park in the parking lot, you must have a visible parking pass displayed in your car. Violations of these rules will result in consequences, including parking tickets, loss of off-campus or other privileges, and towing of the car. Remember to be courteous to your fellow centurions. Now, let's go to our scholarship news. The Santa Clarita Artists Association provides scholarships to student artists in the community. To be eligible, you must be a graduating senior who plans to continue their education in the arts field. To receive application information, email the address listed below. Applications are due today. The Sally Mays Fund's Bridging the Dream Scholarship Program for high school seniors help seniors who are facing financial challenges make the higher education possible. Seniors can apply to win a $10,000 scholarship to help them attend college or a vocational technical school. To apply, use the link in the Counseling 12th Grade Google Classroom site. Applications are due today. SCV Education Foundations is awarding the Backer Family Scholarship, which grants awards in varying amounts. Applica applicants must be enrolled in college or university this fall and pursuing a career related to primary or secondary education. Applications must be postmarked by Wednesday, April 12th at 5 and can be found in the Counseling Office or on the Counseling Google Classroom site. The Canyon Theater Guild is offering scholarships of $750 to seniors. Applicants do not have to have any theater experience to be el eligible. eligible. Applications can be found in the Counseling Office or on the Counseling Google Classroom site. They are due by Sunday, April 30th. That's all for today. I'm Nolan Hodge. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Kenzie Mustafa. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.